So the Lord says to us that he wants us to seek him with all of our heart, that when we seek him, we will find him when we seek him with all of our heart. It's not saying that we're not going to find him when we just seek him a little bit. But I believe that there is a greater revelation when we truly seek him and his will with all that we are, with all that we are, that we lay it all down, every aspect of our spending, every aspect of our time, every aspect of our relationships. Um, that there's deeper revelation as we press into him. And just, you know, this morning I was thinking about that and how and I watched some a video on, or I, I read an interview by this guy who was uh, a Navy SEAL, who was the, the guy who's left alive after a, a bunch of his buddy on this, this operation that went bad. Uh, died so he was alive and these guys and they were talking he was talking about how you know he went through this and it seemed like to the interviewer that it was senseless and he was saying I, we did our we did our job you know how could that be senseless if we 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 did this work and and I, there was something that hit me in my heart about that and um, but then I'm like ah whatever I'll just move on to life like I was gonna comment on my buddy uh, Ricky's. Uh, um, you know, sharing that he shared that. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna let it go. But I believe there is a deeper, you know, and at that moment, you know, I have had a choice of saying, what is deep, what is deeper about this? What's, what is, makes me, un, you know, lacking of rest. You know, the scripture that came to my mind through that was, um, you know, Lord uses all things. God uses all things for the greater good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose, that there's nothing that's purposeless ever that uh, for those who love him or call according to his purpose as we seek him and the wisdom that comes from everything that happens to us, everything um, is used by him to increase our intimacy, to draw us near to God and who he is, to reveal to us the majesty of our king and draw us closer to him as well as unleash more of his love um, in, into the lives of those around us. But you know, in regards to this, this concept, you know, I, I just encourage you to press in more. That there are things that have gone on in your life, that are, there are questions that are unanswered. There's, there's, there are things that you have that God has given you that he wants you to press in on so that you get deeper revelation, deeper understanding. As Paul prayed for deeper revelation to God's love, that we would be consistently be asking God, to open our eyes to see more, to see experience more of you, um, that we would be so filled with your spirit that people would come into our presence and experience your love because of the revelation that we've had about your love. Um, and so you know, my encouragement is to, to press in deeper on those issues, to not let things go, to not just, you know, just throw those things off. Like I, I think of another example of when I was in seminary, the papers that I had to write, like you have to you have to press in. You have to finish the paper. You know the, the end result, but but are you going to do a great job? Are you going to do a good job? Are you going to do an okay job? Are you going to do a poor job? What is the what is the um, motivation? And so, you know, for me, the motivation is that that there's more. That God wants to reveal more of His love. That the the encounters that I have with the Lord as I press into Him are are going to be profoundly effective in my heart and in my mind to draw me closer to give me revelation more of his love like never ending how great his love is but then also one of my greatest motivations for pressing into the lord is also this release into the lives of those around me that i desire to to you know flow that truth um, and unless i've experienced unless i have that revelation i cannot share that with others so those are those are motivations but what what motivates you what what is your what are your goals in life in regards to your relationship with the Lord or even even in just regards to the different parts of of your life you know are your motivations for your relationships about you know you exemplifying Jesus Christ in in every person's life that you come in contact with you know when you go work out when you go when you're reading a book when you're watching a TV show is all of what you do uh, is it motivated by your desire to glorify God? Um, but press in on, on those things because there is there is revelation. God promises that he will give us wisdom. He promises that there there's a depth of intimacy that comes 
as we continue to seek him and, and, and seek his face.